Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to watch me. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Sol. In today's video, I will be showing you the little Madewell, this little Madewell bag. Um, I wanted this video to be an unboxing video, but some things happened and then I ended up throwing the box away and um, so now it's just going to be a kind of like a what's in my bag, what can I fit in this bag, and what I think about this bag video. I don't know what I'm going to title it, but that was um, my thoughts for this video. But anyway, we're just improvising and I am going to be showing you what this little bag looks like and what I'm able to fit in it since it is pretty small. So, little backstory. So I have been having, I had my eye on this bag for a very long time now um, on Madewell and every time I was going to buy it, I was like, you know what, I don't need it. Um, I don't need it, but then I'm like, okay, I do need the extra space. Um, I'll wait for it to go on sale and I just kept, you know, ignoring it and then a couple weeks ago we went to um, the actual store and they had the bigger sizes they didn't have this particular one and so I was like mm, no I really want the smaller one um, luckily the social was really nice and she ordered it for me and it was free shipping and I was able to get it delivered to my house um, also another thing with Madewell if you show them proof of being a student or a teacher you get 15% off and so I got this for a little bit cheaper than it actually was. So this one retails for $128. It is a leather bag. They do source their leather in a sustainable way. So I like that about them. And I don't know. I just thought it was really nice. And then this one is the black color. For some reason, I always had in mind that I would get the cognac color, which is like the brown leather. But once I was in store and I saw the other bags in the black color, I was like, okay, you know what? That'll match with everything. That I own I already have like a little brown um, crossbody bag and I really like the way the black looks and it also has like this um, gold hardware and I don't know I just like that it contrasted um, very nicely with the back black color um, this bag is called the small transport bag and like I said they also have a bigger one but for me I'm all about minimalist um, styles and I just it makes the, everything a lot more easier so I just wanted to go with a smaller one now it does look it's actually smaller than I thought it would be when I opened it I was like oh I don't know if it's gonna fit my stuff in there but it actually is very roomy and it fits a lot of stuff so let me show you so it looks like this it's just like a little square and it has little handles here it has a little pocket here on the side for easy to reach things and it has an adjustable strap and it has little gold accents like I said so these are the buttons and then it has like a little clasp on the side what I like about the Madewell bags is that you can buy um, different straps for them so you can buy like a thicker strap for this one they also have some that have patterns on them so you can really mix and match with their stuff and I just like it so much so now to the fun part I guess is show you what I've been keeping this little bag um, just so that you can get an idea of what things um, you can fit in this bag and like I said I still have a lot more room um, to put more stuff in there but I just carry what I think I'm going to be needing once I'm out or just what I use on the daily and I like these kinds of videos because before I bought this bag I was just on YouTube searching for um, this bag to see how people used it what it looked like more in detail and what things fit in it just because it is pretty small but um, I hope you find this helpful and let's get started so on the outside I do have this little hand sanitizer holder just clasped onto the little clasp where the strap goes let me just take it off this is just from Bath and Body Works um, it is very pretty it has like little leaf patterns on there and then the scent that I have in the little hand sanitizer is a marshmallow pumpkin latte this smells so good um I just keep it on here because you know when you're on the go especially for me I'm always snacking like I always always snack so sometimes I'll stop at the gas station and get a snack and then I'm like oh my hands I haven't washed them in a while so I thought it was a great idea to just carry a little hand sanitizer and also after I pump gas my hands just feel dirty from like the gas pump so it just makes it a little bit easier to keep my hands um, from having nasty germs on them on the outside pocket so easy to reach things I have my eye drops I've mentioned before my eyes get very irritated especially when there's dust around me they just get very red and itchy and this helps out a lot 
Um, I have my little birdie alarm. I've mentioned this before. This is just like um, more like of a protective measure. So let's say you're a person that jogs at night or you get off work late at night. Um, this, if you ever feel threatened or someone's, you know, trying to just kidnap you, I don't know. You just pull this pin and it makes a really, really loud alarm sound go off and it also flashes lights. So it kind of just like deters your potential attacker while also bringing attention to you in case you need help. And I don't know, I just really like it. It makes me feel safer. I, like I've mentioned before, I am an avid true crime podcast listener and um, that can make you paranoid. So when I saw this, um, I was like, oh my God, I want it. And my fiance was nice enough to buy it for me. It comes in a lot of colors. I purchased it in the color coconut and it has this brass little light clip that you just um, screw off and on and you just can put it on your keychain or whatever you want to clasp it onto but I just have it in my little pocket. Then I have my perfume. This is just a an oil rollerball perfume and it smells so amazing. It has um, citrus and bergamot and other really nice oils in there. And I like that it's natural. I also have some receipts that I um, got from not that long ago. So this is from Wendy's. Again, I love food. This is from Target. Are we surprised? No. I'm always there. So I just keep them there. I keep the most recent receipts um, with me in case I need to do exchanges or returns. Um, and then I have $20. We sold one of our old furniture pieces and that's why we got some cash. Next I have my phone. Pretty self-explanatory. This cute little case is from Target. Um, I just wanted a very like minimal, nice, cute case. And then on the screen I just have my little puppy and my fiance. He's such a baby. He likes being carried like that. It's so funny. But we laugh because you can clearly see he's the favorite because he's all happy being held by him. And then that's what I keep in my bigger pocket, so I just moved on to my bigger pocket. Um, I also have this Dennis Hand and Body Goat Milk Cream. This is in the scent Vanilla Bean. I love vanilla. Oh, and that perfume also has like vanilla notes in it. And I've talked about this brand before. I love them so much. You can find them at Ulta. They also have a lip balm, which I have in my bag as well. But this is really nice. I recommend their hand creams. I have a couple of friends that um, are, hooked, are hooked on those hand creams too. They're just so good. And they come in like various scents too. Speaking of the lip balm, this is also by them. And it's the vanilla bean scent as well. And I keep that in my bag in case my lips are dry. I also have this cute scrunchie. It's just this corduroy oh, scrunchie from Target. And I have a pepper spray. Just, you know, just the right amount of paranoid. Then I have my AirPods. I just bought this case from Target not that long ago. Very pretty. And it has like the gold little key ring at the top. So coordinates with everything that's gold accented in my bag. Then I have my wallet. Nothing much to it. I've showed it before. Um, it's just this little Michael Kors little card holder. And it matches the bag perfectly because it's black and it also has like the gold accents. Then I have some makeup pieces. This is a milk sunshine under eye tint just to brighten throughout the day if I feel I'm looking tired. And then the RMS lip to cheek and elusive. Very pretty shade. Mentioned it before. Um, I always have these two with me. Um, on a regular day, I don't wear mascara, so I feel like this just helps me look awake and then this adds color to my face. So, they do the trick. And the last item that I have in my bag is this, I can laugh, <laughs> um, Vanilla Bean um, Concentrated Room Spray. This is from Bath & Body Works. Again, I love vanilla. Vanilla lotion, vanilla lip balm, vanilla perfume, vanilla room spray. Um, so not that long ago, I went into Bath & Body Works and I bought a 
couple things. Um, their room sprays were three for twenty dollars, which I thought was a really nice deal. And they're so concentrated, just like two sprays, and the whole room smells amazing. But I have it in my bag because I like spraying it in my car, and it makes your car smell really nice. I also have their clips, like the ones that clip on the visor, and they are amazing as well. I highly recommend them. They last a very long time, and I think it's because they have essential oils in them, so I feel like that makes them last a little bit longer. But so that's everything that I have in my little Madewell small transport bag. It also has a little zipper um, on the side that you can like secure things in. I don't know if you can see, but right here, this one zips up, um, and then the rest is just like an empty, like one whole space. But if it's a lot of stuff, um, this is just the stuff that I have with me every day. But you can fit a lot of um, a lot more things. And this is what it looks like. Like I said, let me scoot forward. It's just like a little leather block. I can't speak. A leather bag. It has a little compartment here on the side, and it's pretty deep, about right here. And it has a strap and little handles. In the back, just very simple. And the inside has one big pocket, and then one on the side that's a zipper. And then it doesn't have a zipper at the top, but it does have like this little clasp a button type thing. I don't know if it's focused. And you just almost like a button, and it closes. And it's pretty secure. And this one looks like. So far, I've been really enjoying it. I like it so much. It's very practical and small enough to where you don't have to feel like you're lugging something heavy around. And I like that you can use it like this or you can also put it as a crossbody or just over your shoulder. And it just, I just love it so much. And it's very easy to wipe if I get something on it. And I feel like it's gonna last a very long time. Also, um, with the aging process, it just makes the leather look more unique and nice. And it'll just soften up over time not that it isn't soft right now but it'll just get really nice over time and i really enjoy it i'll go ahead and link it down below in case you're interested or you're looking for a really cute minimal bag that will last you for years to come in case you're interested and if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up that lets me know that you like this kind of content as always leave your comments and suggestions down below i love reading them and also we're so close to 800 subscribers so I think within the next couple of days we're going to reach that goal and I'm so excited and I just want to thank you guys because without you a lot of these things wouldn't be possible in terms of YouTube and just you know little opportunities that I get here and there. I just wanted to thank you. Um, like I've mentioned before my goal is to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year and I'm very hopeful that I'm going to get there and yeah that's my little spiel for the day or for today at least and I'll see you in the next video.